My friends, welcome to Once Upon a Pipe. Today I want to talk about the disappointment and joy of an eBay fine. So oftentimes I will look on eBay or pitclick.com, which is a great way to search eBay if you haven't used that site before. Again, that's pick, P-I-C, click, C-L-I-C-K dot com, pickclick.com. And uh, I look for pipes. Uh, oftentimes you can get a very good used pipe or even sometimes a new pipe at an extremely low price, or at least relatively speaking, compared to what you would pay for it new in a store. So as my uh, collection has grown, I've found that I have more and more eBay finds. I want to talk to you and show you the eBay find that I got that was uh, uh, really a disappointment. Um, and uh, I, I don't know, I was just really perplexed when I saw it. So first of all, when I got it from the mailbox, it was soaked and wet. Uh, the whole package itself, I'm not sure what it was wrapped in. And it was coming from overseas and I'm trying to remember where it was from maybe uh, Israel possibly um, but the, the package had been through a lot it at least the pipe was well wrapped so that it was not damaged but uh, and let me show you here so I've got a little mailbox if I can maybe get you over here This is the mailbox. The pipe didn't actually come in here, but just more for video purposes. So let me open this up and I'll show you what's inside. What's this? Aha. Look at there. A Meerschaum pipe, my friends. Wow. So, this is what I had been looking for, or so I thought. And when I received it, I was, um, well, kind of disappointed. It's much smaller than what I had anticipated uh, when I saw the picture. So, it's not, not quite the size billiard that I was looking for. But specifically, I typed in... A silver spigot Meerschaum billiard straight pipe. That's what I wanted. And there it is. I will say it came uh, cleaned up. I always clean any eBay pipe that I get. Uh, so I did give it a, a second cleaning on the stem and uh, took a to uh, pipe cleaner ran it through um, I always put just a little bit of alcohol and, and when I run it through the stem to clean out the inside made sure there was no junk in there and the stem actually is yellow this is a yellow stem but uh, in the process of cleaning this I foolishly um, chipped the end of that stem which you can't see because I've, I've uh, covered it up but I, I chipped the end of that and that was very disappointing so when I got home um, when I got home Friday yesterday I decided I was going to um, have to fix that number one I, I really was hoping for a black stem ideally not the yellow stem the black stem just for me works better and I ended up uh, going through my pipe drawer and I had some heat shrink now absolutely I do not recommend using heat shrink as a softy number one it just doesn't work but number two it's fairly toxic I think um, so this is not being used as a softy bit but what I did do so that I could cover up my 
damage that I caused to the pipe, I put heat shrink around my stem. And uh, let me see if I can get this thing to not track my face. Um, I put heat shrink around around my my stem, and that covered it up. And it made it black. And as you can see, there's no yellow on there. And I use um, if you saw my video on using clear vinyl tubing for a softy bit which works that's what I put so now you don't see that that grave error that I made in in cleaning the stem uh, but it's a small pipe you know here it is in my hand it just it's a fairly small pipe looking for something a little bit bigger hey Wesley yeah. Dexter can you bring me that uh, Meerschaum pipe here on my pipe cellar Please. Right, right there. Thank you. Let me sh let me show you a comparison. This is about the size that I was looking for. This is another eBay find. So I'm going to hold these up, and you can see what I'm talking about here. You can see how this billiard with the silver spigot is quite a bit smaller. I mean, look at that. Come on, track. My camera's not tracking. So, um, it just didn't work. You know, just did not work. And, um, um, this is way smaller than what I was hoping for. So, greatly disappointed. Okay. Uh, after that moment of disappointment, I basically just had to make the best of the situation. So I put my heat shrink on to make it a black stem. Put my softy bit on there to also help further cover up my grave error. Uh, and I figured I need to I need to smoke it. I need to test it out. So um, I loaded it up and began smoking, and it actually, guys, it smoked so good so easy and so smooth um, it, it actually was a great deal of joy so I'm gonna load it up for you what I have here this is my uh, Savinelli Octavia's I've got the bent and the straight in here and I've not used them in a long time I pulled these out right before I was getting ready to, to make this video and I unzipped this and totally forgot that I filled this with tobacco, which is now completely dry. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can tilt this camera down a little bit. This this stuff is dry as a bone. Look at that. So, I don't know what this is going to smoke like. Let me see if I can tilt this down as I load it. Um, don't, I just don't know, but let's see what happens. I'm going to move some stuff out of the way here. I'm just going to dump this out because I need to take it out anyways. So if you, uh, if you're going to go travel for a weekend or something like that, um, this is great. This makes a great travel kit. But please don't forget when you get back home or wherever you're going that you've loaded it up. And uh, keep my little card in here. This stuff is just bone. You know, I, I don't I have no idea 
what I even put in here. It's probably been a couple of years uh, since I loaded this up. <clears throat> it was probably for uh, the homeschool convention in Cincinnati, which um, we didn't even go to this year or 2020. Um, so let's see. You guys ever smoke super dried out tobacco? Well, I'm going to try it. This is just, uh, you can hear that sound. I tell you what I do do when a tobacco is really dry. I'll put it in my pipe. And um, I don't have time to do it on this video. But I will just keep my finger over it like this. And I just hold it in my mouth. And I'll do this for a little while. I might load it up in the morning and might not get to it to the afternoon, but just the moisture from breathing in and out does uh, get it to where it's not so dug on dry. All right, so let's see how this does. By the way, when it's uh, when your blend is this dry, I barely inhale. I'm not. I don't want to take deep breaths at all. This is interesting. I was actually expecting this to be fairly um, harsh for some reason, but um, This is very surprising. For as dry as this tobacco, I mean, this is dry. It has like zero moisture in it. Mm. I can't tell you what I taste. It's an English blend. Yep. Uh, this is going to be Paul's special from Schwab's. That's exactly what this feels like. That being said, this was means it's it was a little. Uh, I don't want to use the word dry when I put it in there, but certainly, being in English, it was less um, moist than than an aromatic. The pipe has some imperfections in it. Uh, you can see here on the silver band how it's dented. I use my pipe tool to point here it's dented right here so that's you know little imperfection there uh, the silver does need to be polished especially on on this side you can see that and that's really not a big deal 
it does not affect the functionality of the pipe at all. In terms of what I was looking for, it fell short, okay? Um, I was hoping for something about this size. You see that? And uh, with the silver spigot. This, by the way, is another eBay find. I had to clean. There was so much junk inside of this. Um, oh, my goodness. I had to clean this. The, but after I did... Um, Oh my goodness, that pipe smoked so well. Okay, so aesthetically, less than what I'd hoped for. Functionality? Hmm. Excellent. No complaints whatsoever so here's the bottom line I won't say the the price on it but the question is overall was it worth it was it worth it to add this to my collection at the price that I got it no it's not worth the price that I paid so you live and learn um, it will stay in the collection because it it just it functions incredibly well. I was very surprised at uh, how well this smokes. I mean, just I sat down yesterday after my wife and out I went out for dinner, and I came back home and I was just sitting at the table and. Um, I'd not even lit the pipe yet, and I'd, I'd loaded it up, and I'd just carried the tobacco inside, just holding it in my mouth, went into the restaurant, only one in a restaurant with a pipe. Of course, I was not smoking in the restaurant, but uh, people were taking second, third, fourth, fifth looks and staring, you know, why does that guy have that pipe in his mouth? And... Uh, yeah, it goes with, it's part of my wardrobe, actually. It, it, it just, you know, just like I put on a hat, vest, and boots to match. You know, I, that's what my pipe was. It was just part of my wardrobe. But when I got home, I finally was getting over the, the disappointment of um, what it looked like and, and decided, okay, let's just go ahead and test it out and see what happens. So that was kind of my attitude. Oh, let's just see what happens. And when I did, I sat there and I didn't want to move. Mm. I think that's how it is in life, guys. You, you get some things and we, um, we judge a lot by appearance and looks. And we make our value statements about said things, or even, dare I say, people, based on what uh, we call aesthetics and what is pleasing to us and our eye. And then we make a decision on what kind of relationship we're going to have with that thing, object, in this case my pipe, or that person. Um, if I had just decided, well, you know, I'm disappointed, I don't like the way it looks, I'm just going to put it in the drawer, uh, I would never, ever have known what a joy this is to smoke. It does a fantastic job. Um, just easy. Mmm. Quiet. Smooth. Sit here all day with this. And uh, just relax. So that's a lesson learned. Lesson learned. You don't always get what you pay for. 
but even on some things that uh, you may be initially disappointed with uh, on the surface if you go deeper you just might be able to find some joy there as always i thank you for tuning in to once upon a pipe and i look forward to seeing you next time